With the introduction of iOS 7, Apple directly impacted the consistency and usability of the FlowJack. It was a huge setback for Flowmeal, and we considered shutting our doors. But the sun shined on us from Korea, bringing an awesome customer and partner motivated to support NFC on iOS devices. Baranama's worldwide business focuses on child learning and their massively multiplayer online games respond to a vast line of NFC-enabled toys. With new financial support, we sought to solve our issues with iOS 7 while taking into account child usage. We hacked up a proof of concept using a FlowJack and a CC2540 development kit from TI. Since the FlowJack interfaces through a hardware UART, we wired it to the 2540 serial pins and wrote a driver to exchange data with the BLE stack. What was cool about this approach is that we could experiment over BLE while troubleshooting across the audio jack. We learned a ton throughout the exercise, from BLE functionality to power and size constraints. With space for four AAA batteries, we knew we could get more than a year of usage. We also borrowed from another reader design we did last year for a digital signage company. The Trident draws power through USB so can afford a larger NFC antenna and its associated current spikes. At 60 by 60 millimeters, the scan surface keeps the reader responsive across all NFC tag sizes. It also happens to read smart cards and magstripe cards alike. The Flowbee was designed using Altium, a more powerful layout tool than what we could afford with the FlowJack. It allows you to see both 2D and 3D renders of your design and includes several tools and shortcuts that make development go much faster. With extra real estate, we decided on a one-layer PCB design for Flowbee and included the NFC antenna as an onboard trace. This would virtually eliminate the quality issues we experienced with the FlowJack's external antenna and drop the need for any ferrite material as well. To test it out, we included several antenna coils in our first protos. Unfortunately, none of these coils worked out in the end. We learned the antennas measure poor Q factors and that the batteries and other components were interfering with their projected fields. So we patched in FlowJack antennas instead and used the PCBs for software development. This way we could move forward with porting our firmware to the 2540 and tweaking our iOS apps while fixing the hardware design. For our second proto design, we moved things around, placing a 35mm coil in the center of the PCB with 4mm keep out and only populating components outside of that space. This kept things away from the antenna field and avoided having any traces route across coil boundaries. Having the batteries in a square orientation looked a little weird, but it made for a better product overall. We were happy to see some read distances of over 2 inches. Since range can vary based on tag size and quality, we hoped for the best with Badanamu's tags and their thick over molding. The Badanamu toys ended up performing really well being picked up with graceful swipes across the Flowbly surface. The LED ring enabled a magical experience, making the interaction come alive. We're working with factories to get our design into production and out to our backers soon. As always, thank you for your support.